Okay, so um, who's your right back then? It's a difficult one because I, I know you're not, <laughs> not going to like this, <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to have to go with Gary Neville. Oh, right? I know, yeah. I'm have to. <laughs> Again, he, I don't think he was world class, but he was a consistent player, um, a leader as well. Um, and again, I don't think he had many bad games for United. Like he wasn't world class. He was, he done his job. He was a, obviously a lot more defensively than the likes of the, you know the right backs and left backs you have these days. It's a different type of game back then. But he, yeah. you know, he, I think he was a solid player for United. I think I saw an interview with Alex Ferguson saying he was the most underrated player he ever managed. Really? So yeah, he, I would say like, don't not quite world class again. Yeah, but on the cusp, maybe, maybe on the cusp of yeah. mm-hmm. of of that. Accolade. He certainly goes down as a Premier League legend, doesn't he? Gary Neville as a right back, as a player, even. Mm. Um, he's he's always talked about. Did it for a long period of time, as you say. He was just a bit like Dennis Irwin, really. But I think Dennis Irwin was a bit better, uh, a bit more about him, but more attacking. Um, yeah, and yeah. I mean, Neville didn't score many goals in his career, did he? It was no. only a couple. I remember him scoring yeah. one from outside the box years ago. I can't remember who it was against, but uh, I think that's one of the <laughs> only goals I can remember him scoring. Great partnership with Beckham as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I. I think you have to give it to him by default almost, really. Um, one of my definitions of world class is can they get into any top side mm-hmm. in his era? And he was consistently the best right back for England. Mm-hmm. You know, he consistently the best right back for Man United. And, you know, and Alex Ferguson was known for just replacing players if he yeah. didn't fancy him anymore. And so he managed to play for a very long time. Um, yeah, so although he's not, he's not a flashy player, you know, you don't see... He's not to the level as some of the right backs we've had today, like Trent Alexander, Trent Alexander Arnold. Mm, yeah. uh, you've got people like uh, Carl Walker. Um, it's a completely different play style, but for his time period, mm. I don't think you can really argue the there was many, yeah. Yeah. many um, that could beat him. Well, the one he had to live up to in his era was Cafu, wasn't it? <laughs> and there was yeah. no one touching him. Cafu, oh, so. yeah, Cafu was definitely world class. Just, yeah. He's, he's yeah. like. Legend. If you imagine, he's, he would be he would be able to slot into today's game winning cafe, mm. no problem. Uh, yeah. He is probably Kyle Walker before Kyle Walker was Kyle yeah, Walker, yeah. really, wasn't yeah. he? So that's a good point you made because we're a little bit spoiled with those positions in this era, and I think yeah, it's too easy to to brush the Nevilles and the Irwins off. I think back in the nineties and early noughties. Well, it was stop the cross, stop the goal. That was yeah. their mentality. Yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't get over the halfway line. The game's changed so much, hasn't yeah. it? So it's, uh, it is difficult. Yeah. Cafu was one of the first kind of attacking right backs, wasn't he? First kind of player to. Yeah. Yeah, to just that out and out, you know. Yeah. yeah. We're better than you, so we're just going to attack from left back and right back, along with Roberto Carlos on yeah, the other side. Course, so, yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, you're going to make me cry. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. Top tier. 